Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of our vegan adventures videos. Today we're going to be talking about vegan camp out 2021. Yeah. Nicole's got the shirt. I have. So we've already been, but this is kind of our story of the weekend and showing you everything we did. Jessie didn't come with us, but she's, she wanted to join for the video for some reason. <laughs> she so. wants to be involved. Uh, until she gets bored, she'll be here as well. What time did we leave? Like midday? Midday, we left, yeah. How long are we going camping for? Uh, two days. <laughs> they didn't open till two, two to actually get in. Yeah, the car park opened at one, but then you can actually get into the camping area till two. And for us, it's only like an hour and a half drive, so it's mm. quite nice. We got there, had a bit of a queue in to get in. We're in. Still in traffic there. We are still in traffic, but we're getting closer. Then you queued to get in the car park. Then when you got in the car park, you queued to get actually into the camping site, which is not fun because they didn't have toilets in the car park. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, Nicole, like a couple of days before, brought this weird pulley trolley thing, yeah. which was amazing because basically we just dumped all our stuff in that and then we just stood with that in the queue. We didn't have to like hold any bags or anything. Yeah. We were in the queue for like an hour, so it was like ideal. The best thing I think I've ever bought. <laughs> yeah, so really good purchase. So if you're doing camp out in the future, mm. definitely something I recommend trying to get one of these little like, truck things. As soon as we got in the camping area, we well I rushed to the toilet obviously because I was desperate. Yeah, I got a wristband. Vegan camp out. I need a wee. I still need a wee. <laughs> we got a similar spot to last year, so it was like not too near the main stage, but like not too far away from the food. Um, I don't want to be near the toilet as well because... Getting up in the night, you don't want to walk far. We just bought a new tent on Amazon, I think I got it from. Why are you obsessed with me? We got it up right in the end and, <laughs> and it, when it rained we didn't get wet, so I think we did a good enough job. Yeah. Um, but then after that, of course, we went and you know did the priority, which was get some food. Yeah. On the hunt for food. I'm starving. I'm hungry. You can get whatever you want basically on yeah. that first day without queuing because no one really gets there till like five, six, seven, eight. So you can just go and don't don't really have to queue long. So we went yeah. to Halo Burger. Oh. So we got a couple of cheeseburgers from there, which were really nice. First stop, Halo Burger. Chippy chips. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Oh my god, it's sliding out. <laughs> I'm losing it. Take a big bite. Don't let it fall out. That's good, isn't it? Oh, good. I think we demolished in about 30 Literally, seconds. Literally, we were so hungry because we were thinking in our heads, well, if the gates open at two, we could get food easy by half two, quarter to three. We didn't get food to probably like half four, so we were starving. So we literally just went for whatever was the shortest queue, which was that at the time. That didn't last long. Literally probably one minute. They weren't there the last couple of years, so we kind of thought there'll probably be a big queue for that at mm. some point. So if we get it now, then we've had it. Nice. That was so good. Although, I feel like I need something else as well. Need like twice as much. Mm. <laughs> Do you? Of course. And then I went and got the classic what the pitta oh yeah she did my absolute favorite i can't go wrong what the pitta and you can guarantee what the pitta that is going to fill you up <laughs> because <laughs> the, the wrap that i got was so full um yeah so i got what the pitta what you got my uh sushi rolls they're called and it's got poison duck in it i can't figure out how to pull this down it was good, but not as good as Happy Mackey. And I feel like it was a lot smaller. Like Happy Mackey, you normally come away and it's like jammed. It was still nice, it was still good. Did we get a donut though after? Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Just a little donut. Just going straight in for it. You barely put that in it. That was a big bite. <laughs> good? Mm. Really good. It's the size of your head. How is it? Amazing. Is it? Where's your donut gone? It's in the bag. I ate half of it though. But I'm full now. It was good. So I think we had a Lotus Biscoff one and an Oreo one, was that right? Oh yeah, it was so sickly mine. That's from Donuts, uh, which I think is only in Nottingham, but really nice donut place. Now I've ate all my donut. I have some on the course. Oh, you haven't even got past the halfway mark. I think after eating so much, putting out all the tent, queuing up, we were quite tired out, so we went yeah. back to the tent, had like a nap for like an hour or so, and then we went out and got some more food. We couldn't really decide what we wanted, so we got some yeah. pick a mix because there was like a oh, pick a mix down. So we had that, mix. and we were like, oh, we can eat this while we're eating or while we're waiting for whatever else we But got. can I just add, John ate pretty much all the pick a mix. I barely had any of that. Look, I had a few. Queuing for food? 
eating more food. It's sweet. Oh. Then I think we went around, we were trying to decide what food we wanted, mm. um, and there was a couple of pizza places. And we'd obviously already had burgers and wraps, so we thought, oh, what's the next obvious thing? It's going to be a pizza. We did have Purizza there, which is one of our favourite places in yes. Brighton. We didn't go for that, we went for... One Planet Pizza, isn't it? That's it, we should do like frozen pizza. Take a cup of tea. Come on, cup of tea. At nine o'clock at night. You Hi, animal. <laughs> Getting now old. Now we're it for a whole pizza. Can't wait. Basically, it was two options. It was like £4.50 for a slice, or you could pay £20 or whatever it was for a whole pizza. And I was like, all right, I'll have a whole pizza. <laughs> and then you, you got a free tub of garlic mayonnaise, mayonnaise. with it, like garlic aioli. Which he said serves eight, and it definitely does not. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, to be fair, when, when we got it, I was like, it was very, like, thick. Where did all that go? In your belly. Pretty sure you were at half each. <laughs> so while we were eating that, we just kind of chilled out. I actually had it in front of us was uh, Pritchard from Dirty yes. Sanchez. And I said to Nicole, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Pritchard from Dirty Sanchez. Because uh, I follow him on Instagram and I thought, I just, you know, won't really think anything of it. And then sure enough, like about 10 people in the space of the time we were sat there came and asked him <laughs> yes. for pictures. And then his dog eventually like, wasn't any interested in our pizza at all. His no. dog just wanted to play fetch with us. So I think I played fetch with <laughs> Lemmy the dog for about 10 minutes, just throwing a bottle cap. Yeah. This dog would run and grab it and just drop it on the floor and just wanted to keep throwing it over and over again. <laughs> it didn't matter how far you threw it. Either everyone was coming over and saying how amazing the dog was, or they were coming over and trying to get a picture. Some of them were quite rude though. Some of them just went, oh, picture in his face. I was like, bloody hell. I think he's probably used to it. Do you remember what you had after that? No, what did you have after that? Churros. Oh, cool. So after you couldn't finish a whole pizza, we queued up and we got churros as well, which is one of your favourites. It is my favourite. I love churros. Uh, I think we just ate them back at like the tent before we went to bed. Mm. Although to be fair, I think you have more again because the thing with me is my eyes are bigger than my belly, so I know that I want them, but I also know I'm very full. Whereas with me, I can just eat unlimited amounts. Yeah. <laughs> so before we get into day two of eating camp out, uh, if you are enjoying and you've watched this far, please leave a like on the video, it really helps us share like the vegan message and you know promote vegan camp yeah. out as well so hopefully next year more people go, more people hear about it. Um, if you made it this far, you know you might as well. <laughs> so on day two, what did you do in the morning? I didn't do a lot, I slept. Is that the morning I got your coffee? Oh you did, yeah. I woke up at like, I think quarter past six because I was, I needed a wig, shock. And I walked to the toilet and I took the bank card anyway because I thought I'll just have a mooch down there. So I just thought I'll have a little walk down and the coffee and tea queue was like so small. So I thought, I don't care if it's half six in the morning because if I don't queue now, I won't get a cup of tea. Well, that's the thing with vegan camp out. There's normally like one or two places that do tea and coffee in the morning. So it's like got a ridiculous queue. Yeah. And we even thought about before going like, well, should we get like a portable kettle that we can take? Yeah. And we're like, oh, it's probably too much hassle to carry. And I think probably next time that'll be the one thing we do take. Especially because normally for us, we'll have like a coffee when we first get up or a cup of tea and then like we'll have one like mid morning. Mm. Whereas when you're doing that there, it's like, you don't want to potentially queue. you're queuing up for an hour to get a cup of tea and then you're queuing up an hour again for another cup of tea. And you got some croissants as well, didn't you? I did. So I've got a biscoff filled one and a chocolate filled one. You can kind of guess who's for who. Um, and then I walked back to the tent and I woke John up and I was like, yeah, best wife ever. Uh, I didn't even notice you'd gone, so. No. Like, I'm just still asleep. And then I've been umming and ahhing with her, because they always do it every year where you can go and do the park run in Newark. So I did to go along and I went to like the vegan runner's tent and then there was like three people about to leave. And I was like, oh, I'll just run with you. So I ran down, did the park run, ran back. So I think it ended up being about 10 miles. The park run was like round. It was ridiculous. Like the amount of vegan runners that were there, probably like three or 400 vegan runners. And this yeah. park run normally had like a hundred people at it. So like the people were just like not really prepared for it. I think by the time I got back to the tent, I'd done like yeah, 10 miles and about 20,000 steps. So we wanted to go get some breakfast and we went and got chick huns. Oh yeah. We kind of looked and gauged what the queues were like and that was one of the places that had like a reasonable queue. But they do like a lot of like vegan chicken burgers and popcorn chicken and stuff like that. But for breakfast, they have chicken and waffles, which is what I had. And then you had like the chicken breakfast burger, wasn't it? Oh, it was amazing. It was so good. I've got bacon, chicken, cheese, and hash brown. Oh, really? I didn't even realize there hash brown in there as well. Oh, there's a hash brown in there, John. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> you haven't even bit the top the bottom bun. <laughs> good though. Nice. Mm. And I've got bacon waffles and chicken with syrup from Chick Huns. Mm. Yeah, really nice. Perfect after a run. Good. And then I also ate the leftover pizza from You did. The, night the two slices left. Not warmed up, just cold pizza, which you know. Just a job. But then I think at that point it started to rain a bit. The weather was a bit hit and miss. Yeah. So we kind of just hid inside. We did the rain. You did. Now we're packed up. We're gonna go sit somewhere. See some talks maybe. Gonna go mobile. Mobile. Yeah. 
on the go, you know? Oh. <laughs> so what do you mean? So when we got off from our nap, we went to Frutori, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's like the one place that does fruit Yeah, nap. <laughs> I was feeling a bit like uh, lethargic maybe. I think it's from eating all the, <laughs> the rubbish junk food. Before, maybe we should have some sort of fruit and vegetables at some sort. Yeah, so we queued for that. Um, they had one side for smoothies and one side for fresh fruit and the side for smoothies was just so long. So. We queued for the fresh fruit and we got, what did we get? Blueberries, grapes, and, and then I've you? got a slice of watermelon, which are oh, so refreshing. That's a big watermelon. Nice. Very good, I needed this. I don't know what's going on here, there's some climbing going on there. There's people queuing here for something. Something going on there. So we're just chilling. And then after that, we thought we'd balance it out by having some ice cream. Mm. Oh, is that Bouge? Yeah, Bouge Bouge we went to. We've got ice yeah. cream cones. There's a couple of ice cream places there, but we've had that one a couple of times. It is very nice. <laughs> what you got? Raspberry mm. or oh, salted chocolate. Salted caramels? Wave chocolate. Delicately balanced on there. Oh, no, I don't want to drop it. <laughs> and then we went to the some of the talks then, because it was getting a bit grey then. So we thought, well, yeah. we'll go back to our tent. We'll just stay. And we took our camping chairs with us, so we just went and watched some talks in the like main stage. I think when we got there it was like Ellis Goodridge talk. Yeah. And then there was a Hogwood Farm documentary oh. as well, which they show, which I think is on Amazon Prime. Um, Coming to Netflix like, next year, isn't it? Yeah, so quite tough to watch. Um, yeah, very emotional. So that was, yeah. I suppose it's not what you want to watch, but also it's kind of, you know, nice to see Do you know what, it's what nice. you're not contributing towards. That's what I was going to say. It's nice, like when you watch it, I think if I was eating meat and I watched that, you'd be absolutely horrified that you're paying for that. But, I mean, it doesn't make it any easier, but knowing that we're not contributing to that makes me feel happier. But then I'm also like, as if that still goes on and that's still allowed. Yeah, so definitely Crazy. one to watch out for. Mm. Probably not like the best produced documentary because it's made yeah. by Viva, who's just like a charity, like funded by basically like donations so mm -hmm. um but it had some the guy from game of thrones in it who's a vegan i can't remember his name but i'll put him on the screen he was the guy that did like the narrating and the talking over it um and it shows a lot of footage that like, they filmed from going inside the farm <laughs> it's supposed to be someone else on but then they basically they tested positive so they couldn't come so they changed it to like the plant boys which is like a group on instagram that i kind of follow so i thought i'll just stay and see what their talk was about which was, yeah, it was, it was fairly interesting. So kind of stayed, sat through that and then made our way back to the tent, chilled out for a bit. And then we went out for dinner. What did you have for dinner? I had the Grizzly Vegan, which is like a, it was kind of like a taco bowl thing. Had nachos around it and then like chili in it and- um, like Melted cheese, on melt, like nacho cheese. Yeah, like cheese and it was, and some rice. It was so nice. I just fancied something a bit different that wasn't, so much drunk food. <laughs> I feel like the thing I noticed with this is that we just really like food that we can eat with our hands and like we yeah. there's loads of places to do like yeah more like rice and vegetables and stuff like that in like a container we like we just always need to get burgers and fries. And yeah <laughs> easy eatable stuff. Because then I think at that point I wanted Donna oh, summer you did. but it wasn't open it was like closed because some of the places would open for lunch and then close for a couple of hours and open back up for dinner time. Yeah. So then I went to this vegan burger place called Vegan Vice which I've been eyeing up um, and they had like loads of like weird burgers but then when I got to the front they basically sold out they were starting to like sell out of things because uh, oh. they were expecting to be so busy so I wanted like a um, a cheeseburger, cheeseburger but I think they ran out of cheese they ran out of, of burger sauce as well so I ended up just getting like a burger it was disgusting I'm not gonna lie <laughs> like when John let me try it I was like I would not it was like all right I think but like yeah it was like eight pound as well for like a burger um, I don't think they had any chips left at that point either, so it's just the burger. Mm -hmm. And they had a peanut butter one, which I could have actually got because it had the peanut butter stuff, but then Nicole doesn't like peanut butter, and I was like, well, I don't want to buy it and then not let Nicole try any <laughs> of it. Being thoughtful, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. So that's what I get for being thoughtful. I could have had the <laughs> peanut butter one, which might have been better. You got a meme? Yeah. That's a first. <laughs> and once we ate that, we went to Clemmy's Vegan Kitchen, which do like cakes. Oh, yeah. So we got some cakes from there. I think we had like a caramel shortcake slice, which we bought and saved till later. Yeah. Um, there was a brownie that I was going to save till later, but I think I ended up like picking and eating it. Eating all that while you were walking around looking close. And then what did you have? A blueberry muffin, wasn't blueberry it? Blueberry muffin. I am a sucker for a blueberry muffin. Which I think you ate over like three different meals. Yeah, <laughs> just, I just kept picking at it. it. <laughs> and then I remembered it the next morning. <laughs> what we got? Blueberry muffin. Did you say you're not even hungry? I'm not even hungry. What are you eating then? Just because I like blueberry muffin. What your top? Well, my top, because I wanted something from the... Uh... You repping? You? No free chocolate bar? 
But then, well, time we done all our shopping. Donna saw my hat opened, so I could try and go and get my kebab, <laughs> which was like a kebab tray with chips, which was really nice. Mm. Back in the tent, so it's raining again. I've got a vegan kebab for company. I already ate like half of it. And it's good. That was really nice. Um, it did look good. And that was kind of like our night finish then, because there was a few talks, but not really anything we were interested in. No, the Russell brand was on. It was so packed and the speakers weren't good at the back. And they basically, it was like you could only, you had to stand, because the rest of the day you could yeah. go in with a chair and just put a chair down and then just sit and watch. Whereas this you had to stand, or if you wanted to sit, you had to go in the other room, which when we went in there, it was like really, really warm. So hot. And then we did get to go back to the tent and then McFly were actually playing. They were. <laughs> not to do with vegan camp out, they were playing in like the next field over. So in, we could like, we were in bed listening to like McFly playing live. We were loving it, weren't we? It was like we? kind of like a bit more rainy that night. So yeah. we slept in and then when we got up in the morning, we wanted to pack around our tent, but we wanted to kind of wait for it to dry up a bit. So we went and got our standard tea and coffee to we start did. the day, which we did have to queue for a while. I think people had realized from the day before that they need to get up earlier if they yeah. wanted it so it's not more people getting up we were there at half seven it was already like a big queue when had it? that and then we got the sausage which is like a mm. hot dog place and i didn't i thought when we were queuing up i thought it's just gonna be like a breakfast hot dog but then for breakfast they had like it's like a breakfast bat one yeah, more like a muffin sort of thing roll thing yeah, yeah which was really nice what you got there? i've got a breakfast bat which has some wee sausage some cheese a patty and i think they're garlic mushrooms and I did have two hash browns but I ate one. This is what it should look like with two <laughs> hash browns. Which but I'm impatient. It's pretty decent isn't it? Mm. And a nice coffee for me. Nicole had a cup of tea but she already drank it. I drank it. It's so small though. Oh. But it's very quiet this morning. It's nice. So we're gonna eat, pack up this tent, maybe eat some more then go home. Mm. Sounds like a good plan. Perfect breakfast and then we kind of took down the tent. We were going to go see if there was maybe any more food but we mm. decided like we kind of wanted to go home, have a shower. We've taken a break from packing up. Yeah, from our muffin. A snack break. It's needed but it's hard work. That's all I get. Thanks. I'll give you more. You dropped half of it. Look at that. All packed up. Fits back in the little carriage. I'm ready to go. Let's get it to the car. And that's it. Vegan camp out done. We're packed up. Get out here at like nine in the morning. John wanted to get more food, but I'm so tired. The thought of queuing another hour. We got some uh, caramel. Shortcake. Yeah, caramel shortcake. And there's a Starbucks. Uh, oh, got. Yeah. Oh, the Starbucks are right there. I just want a normal big drink. Instead of a little cup of tea that big. Yeah. So yeah, that was kind of our vegan camp out 2021 adventure. It was good. Spent a lot of money. I think when we go, we kind of just have money set aside and we try mm. to think about it and just like, well, just spend this money and then like not really worry because when I think you can come on go out and be oh, like, that this costs this much. I don't want to pay this much for that yeah. sort of food or whatever. Whereas when we go, we just want to try as much of it as possible. Yeah. And... So we know what we're gonna take and then we just spend up into that amount, don't we? What's your top three? <gasps> So I'm going to say the sausage, the breakfast bat, because that was absolutely incredible. I did really, really like Halo Burger. Even though it wasn't filling, it was one of the best things ever. See, I'm trying to decide between the pizza or grizzly vegan. The reason the grizzly vegan is because it's a taco bowl and it's something so different. It was so nice. Yeah. But then the pizza was just absolutely incredible. So I'm going to say grizzly vegan because it's something different and it was really, really worth it. So well, it's fine. I'll definitely say the pizza. One Planet Pizza, that was really good. What the pizza? Classic, okay, can't go wrong. Just like, yeah, <laughs> one of our favourites. Then I'll probably say Chicken's Place, I think. Oh, Chicken's, yeah. That breakfast was like, yeah, so it was like something really different. Because there's a lot of places mm -hmm. like breakfast burgers or breakfast wraps, whereas this was like, I had like chicken and waffles, which was like, yeah. Yeah, true. Kind of like something you wouldn't normally get even when you go to like a vegan place. And I think overall, yeah, we had a good weekend. We did have a good weekend. I think with some of the COVID things in place, it was a bit weird because obviously normally there'd be talks like constantly, whereas it felt like it was very like, like the talks didn't start till like two in the afternoon. Yeah. So it felt like, you know, if you got up really early, you were kind of just like, I don't know, just doing your own thing for the morning, which wasn't too bad when we had like the running and stuff like that. but. Yeah, it was like, not like there was just talks like, all the time. Yeah, I feel like compared to last time, there was more for us to kind of go to and more space, but because they had so many more people, which is absolutely great, I'm not moaning about that, but I feel like they should have got a bigger venue. I suppose they've just got to look at it in the future and think, mm. if there's 10,000 people there, 
12,000 oh, of yeah. us. Oh yeah, well, that's what I mean, yeah, because there's 12 people there, then that, what's, what if 6,000 of all want to watch the same talk at the same time? Mm. Can they actually fit in there? Um, so it's something to think about in the future, but yeah. you know, I think it keeps getting bigger, hopefully. They'll get somewhere bigger. Yeah, and try and sort the toilets out so you don't have to queue. Yeah, toilets, I think that was a down. One of the talks said like, I think it was like in the UK, like 85% of vegans are women and 15% of men or something like wow. that, which is like crazy. Um, I don't know if that's actually true, it was just what they mentioned on one of the talks. But then you think about the toilet situation, and it's like every time you want to go to the toilet, you have to queue for like... Every single time, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, whereas yeah. for all the men, you could just walk straight in and go to the toilet straight away. I think it's just something they need to look at going forward, maybe having more unisex ones or just having more women's ones. Mm. Just closing down all the men's ones and making it like... Unisex, women, like that. yeah, I mean, they do need to do more, because I think that's one of the things where I was like, oh. Overall, we had a good time. We did have a good time, um, really liked it. So yeah, definitely, if you want to go next year, hopefully we'll be able to go as well. And, yeah. Uh, eat more vegan food. Of course, always. Uh, and maybe check out some of these other places, if you if they're near you, if they've got actual restaurants. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe, please. And we'll see you soon. Bye. So bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye! <laughs> Legs or hot dogs? <laughs> oh, you hit your head. Actually, did my I'm, I'm, I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you. Can't you tell you're vegan? <laughs> like, you never come in here, and now we're trying to record a video, and all of a sudden. <laughs> she wants to be in here. You wanna be in here? Doing, um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Jesse.